wondered why zebras have stripes? These majestic creatures with their iconic black and white patterns have been the subject of fascination for centuries. But those stripes are not just for show. They serve a purpose in the wild, an enigma we'll delve into as we explore the intriguing world of zebras. From the sun-drenched plains of Africa, these equine wonders have adapted to their environment in ways that might surprise you. They've evolved to thrive in their habitat, feasting on a diet that fuels their unique lifestyle and behavior. And what about those behaviors? Ever thought about why zebras are social animals? Or why they have such distinctive calls? We'll be unraveling these mysteries and more as we journey into the heart of zebra country. So, if you're ready to dive into the black and white world of these remarkable creatures, don't go anywhere. Keep watching to discover the fascinating world of zebras. Zebras, these intriguing creatures, inhabit various parts of Africa. From the sweltering savannas to the rugged mountains, their environment is as unique as their striped coats. There are three main species of zebras, the plains zebra, the mountain zebra, and the grevy zebra, each calling a different African habitat home. The plains zebra, as the name suggests, thrives in the grassy plains and savannas of eastern and southern Africa. They are the most prevalent and adaptable of the three, even comfortably cohabitating with other grazing animals, such as wildebeests and gazelles. In contrast, the mountain zebra prefers the arid, rocky slopes of southwestern Africa. These zebras are true mountaineers, equipped with hard, pointed hooves that allow them to navigate the steep terrain with ease. They've also developed a longer coat to help them weather the chilly mountain nights. In the arid, semi-desert regions of northern Kenya and Ethiopia, we find the Grevy zebra. This species is the largest of the three and has a more donkey-like appearance with a tall, robust body and large, rounded ears. Their habitat is harsh, and water scarcity is a constant challenge. To survive, Grevy zebras have adapted to go for days without water, obtaining moisture from the plants they eat. The habitat of a zebra greatly influences its lifestyle. For instance, plain zebras are migratory, following the rains to find fresh grazing lands. Mountain zebras, on the other hand, are more territorial, staying within a specific range of their mountain homes. Grevy zebras, due to their arid environment, lead a more solitary existence, gathering in large groups only around water sources. It's fascinating to see how each zebra species has adapted to its unique environment. From their diet to their social structures, their habitats play a crucial role in shaping their lives. As we continue to learn more about these captivating creatures, it's clear that their habitats are as integral to their story as their distinctive stripes. From the vast grasslands to the rocky hills, zebras adapt to diverse environments. Now onto what fuels these striped creatures, their diet. Zebras are herbivores, which means they eat plants, but not just any plants, their favorite meal is grass. They are known as grazers and spend most of their day munching away on the green stuff. However, their diet isn't limited to just grass. They also enjoy shrubs, herbs, twigs, and bark. Their diet varies based on their habitat. For example, the Grevy zebra, which lives in semi-arid grasslands, often has to travel long distances to find food and water. On the other hand, the plain zebra, which inhabits grasslands and savannas, has a more diverse diet because of the abundance of plant life in these areas. The way zebras eat is quite interesting. They have strong upper and lower front teeth that they use to clip grass close to the ground. Then they use their back teeth to crush and grind their food. This process helps them extract as much nutrition as possible from their meals. You might wonder, how often do zebras eat? Well, they eat almost continuously throughout the day. In fact, when they are not sleeping or traveling, they are usually eating. This is because the grass and other plants they eat are low in nutrients, so they have to eat a lot to get the nourishment they need. But their eating habits do more than just keep them nourished. They also play a significant role in their ecosystems. By grazing, they help to control the growth of vegetation. This helps to maintain biodiversity, as it prevents any one plant species from dominating the landscape. Moreover, their droppings fertilize the soil, promoting the growth of new plants. Furthermore, by moving around in search of food, zebras help to distribute seeds across their habitats. This not only aids in plant propagation, but also in the creation of new grazing areas, which benefits other herbivores. 
So, as you can see, zebras' dietary habits are more than just about filling their bellies. They play a vital part in the ecosystem, contributing to its health and diversity. Their primarily grass-based diet plays a crucial role in maintaining balance in their ecosystems. Beyond their striking appearance, zebras also exhibit fascinating behaviors. Let's delve into their complex social structure. Zebras live in small family groups, known as harems, composed of one stallion, several mares, and their offspring. The stallion, as the protector of the group, is always on high alert for potential threats. Moving on to their mating habits, did you know that zebras mate year-round? This is quite unusual for animals in the wild. The stallion mates with the mares in his harem, ensuring the continuity of his lineage. But how do zebras communicate with each other? They have a rich repertoire of vocalizations, from high-pitched barks to low snorts. Each sound carries a specific message, whether it's a warning of danger, a call to gather, or a simple greeting. Zebras also communicate through body language. The position of their ears, for instance, can signal their mood or intentions. These behaviors aren't just fascinating, they're vital for survival. Living in a tightly knit group provides protection from predators, while their unique communication methods help keep the herd safe and coordinated. Mating year-round ensures the continuation of the species, despite the many threats they face in the wild. It's a tough world out there, but zebras are well-equipped to handle it, thanks to their intricate social structures and communication strategies. Zebras, with their complex behaviors, continue to intrigue scientists and animal lovers alike. To recap our journey into the world of zebras, we've explored their unique habitats, ranging from grasslands to savannas. We've delved into their herbivorous diet, primarily consisting of grasses, shrubs, herbs, twigs, and leaves. We've also observed their fascinating behavior, marked by a complex social structure and a distinct communication system. These remarkable creatures truly embody the beauty and diversity of the animal kingdom. Next time you see a zebra, remember, there's more to their stripes than meets the eye.